Hey friends, Ash here with GentSense with kind of a, a special video today, something a little bit out of the ordinary. Yeah, technically it's just an unboxing and first impressions, but it's of some really cool fragrances. Not that other times it's not really cool fragrances, but you'll see what I'm talking about, or I guess you already know. Raja Parfums sent me their new Parfum Cologne fragrances. Three of the new ones, not all four. Enigma is missing, but hopefully I'll get that in the future. That way I can let you guys know what I think about that one, because to be honest, Creation E slash Enigma is one of my favorite Raja Parfums fragrances period. The three that I'm going to go over with you today, at least unboxing and first impressions wise, is going to be Vetiver, Scandal, and Danger. These fragrances are done in the style of Elysium, which I have reviewed in the past and is a fragrance that I really, really enjoy. If that doesn't make sense to you yet, it will as we go through the video, so let's go ahead and jump into this. So Elysium was the first Raja Parfum fragrance that was done in the Parfum Cologne style. Now this is a description of Parfum Cologne by the brand. Parfum Cologne is a new concentration of fragrance created by Raja Dove. This highly original concentration is structured to be as enlivening and refreshing as a classic eau de cologne, whilst the base is very long lasting. This enhances the top notes and allows them to display their characteristic freshness on the skin for hours longer than usual. The structure is similar to an eau de parfum by way of its lasting quality, with the top and head notes being worked specifically to enhance the sensation of freshness. So there we go, that's how they describe it. So what Raja Parfums has done is they've taken some of their classic pour home fragrances and reworked them into Parfum Colognes. There are slight differences between how they were done previously in the pour home style versus this Parfum Cologne style, which I'll go over as I talk about each fragrance and unbox them. Let's see, first off we'll do this one, which is Danger. So you can see here how it comes, Raja Parfums Parfum Cologne. This is slightly different than how the Elysium box comes, which looks like so. You actually can't tell from the front of the box which fragrance this is. You have to look on the back and there's a little sticker there. So here is the back of the box and you can see the sticker here with the name of the fragrance. Let's go ahead and crack into this, give this one a smell, see how it is. I'm really excited to crack into this one. I own six Raja Parfums fragrances, not including these. And I do consider myself overall a fan of the brand. So here it is. Ooh. It's a really good looking bottle, which you would expect. So let me show you the box here a little bit closer. So here's just a quick look at the box. We won't do this for each one of these, but you can see here there's a little cutout and then the bottle sits right inside there. It is cardboard on the inside with kind of a velvety touch. And here you have the bottle for danger. Again, really nice looking. It's got the same cap that you'll find on Elysium. It's a heavy metal cap with the Raja signature on top. Here you've got the back of the bottle and a quick look at the bottom as well. Before I spray this, let me tell you the difference from the brand of Danger Parfum Cologne versus Danger Pour Homme. With Danger, I wanted to give more freshness to the original perfume by accentuating the fresh and aromatic aspects found in the original Parfum by pushing forward the citrus and green notes alongside an extra touch of lavender. Now, these fragrances, like most Raja Parfums fragrances, have just a ton of notes. For Danger, the olfactory description is a rich, sensual base of ambergris, vanilla, musk, leather, and tonka bean freshened by leafy galbanum and rhubarb, sublimated by lavender, tarragon, bergamot, and lemon with touches of sweetness from jasmine, violet, and lily of the valley before being warmed by cedar, patchouli, wood notes, oak moss, vetiver, clove, and cumin. I told you, a lot of notes. So let's go ahead and give this one a spray, see how this comes across. Okay, so the atomizer, first thing I noticed is not the uh, kind of atomizer that's Dior-esque where you can really press it down with the fine spray. It's a fine atomizer, it's just not that style. So there is a little more freshness off the top, that added citrus, the added green notes. Off a strip though, those are starting to fade away pretty quickly. It's becoming very sweet, warm, kind of sensual, if you want to call it that. It's got a good amount of richness to it. Uh, there are no harsh edges here, everything smells very rounded off. I pick up a little bit of that tarragon, but it's it's done so well. Like there's, there's nothing here off-putting at all. I'm gonna let that dry down a little bit and start into the next two. One thing that I personally really like about this line 
is that it makes Raja Parfums a little more accessible to more people. This is still a luxury item. It's still expensive. This is not a cheap fragrance or cheap fragrance house at all. But at $290 retail for a 100 milliliter size bottle, it's more in reach for a lot of guys out there. Instead of being one of those things that's just so expensive that you never have a chance to own it unless you're already rich. You know smelling this more, this is danger. I do actually still pick up some of the lemon along with that lavender, the tarragon that I talked about, that sweetness, that richness, with a little moss starting to settle in there as well. That is really nice. Like I said though, I'm gonna leave that for now. The next one is Vetiver, Vetiver Pour Homme Parfum Cologne. Just like before, same kind of box, the only difference on the back with the sticker, which you can see right there. So let's get into this one. There it is, Vetiver Parfum Cologne. Let's see, which one do I like more? I don't know, I like both of these bottles. It's like the Power Rangers, you've got a different color for each one of these. So here you can see the bottle for Vetiver Parfum Cologne. It's got a really nice green gradient bottle. There is the back. And a quick look at the bottom on that one as well. I really want to spray this one on because I love Vetiver, but let me do the same thing I did for Danger and read to you the differences between this one and the original Pour Homme. The proportions of Vetiver have altered, but the ingredients and spirit of the original scent remain the same. I increased the bergamot and the lemon to give it an even more pronounced citrusy freshness, whilst increasing the Litsia Cubeba slightly as well. Litsia Cubeba. I actually looked that up online. Uh, apparently, it is an evergreen shrub slash tree that has a lemony kind of smell. And this is the olfactory description from the company on Vetiver. The dynamism of bergamot, lemon, and lemon-like Litsia cubeba, which I guess I didn't have to look it up, it's right there, is amplified by a spicy blend of pepper, pink pepper, nutmeg, and caraway. An unusual note of celery seed and galbanum add further freshness to the central theme of hot, smoky vetiver on a warm base of gayak wood and amorous tempered by rose and jasmine. Cedar wood and cedar needles are underscored by the dry scent of oak moss and sensual leather-like cystus and labdanum to perfectly complete this quintessential Shepra fragrance. Now, Let's give it a spray. That is a high quality vetiver, <laughs> which is exactly what I expected. Off a tester strip, it is a bit warm. You've definitely got that pop of citrus that is used so often hand in hand with fresh vetiver type fragrances. But the citrus here really does come across, like I said, warm, even right off the bat, off this tester strip. It's clean, it's lemony. One of those types of fragrances you could easily dress up and wear formally with a suit, something that you could rock in an office supremely easily. It's a little bit fresh, it's very spicy, and it's a great smelling vetiver. Again, this is just a first impression, so it could change as I give it actual wear, see how it comes off of my skin, all that stuff. But this is coming across like something that would be so easy to wear in spring. It's just a fantastic smelling citrusy vetiver. It's not coming across off the tester strip, too complicated, too loud, anything like that. Just very well done. Before I crack into the last one here, which is Scandal, let me talk to you briefly about what they did with Enigma, which again is also known as Creation E. Enigma is a very rich oriental fragrance with bergamot being its only top note. I added a medley of citrus notes to freshen the top up, including more bergamot alongside an addition of lemon oil and mandarin to really enhance the freshness of its opening odor. And then a quick description of Enigma from Raja Parfums. Bergamot, geranium, and neroli are blended with lively pepper, ginger, and cardamom to create a bright, fresh contrast to a rich, sensual base of patchouli, sandalwood, vanilla, benzoin, and ambergris, which underscore a highly distinctive blend of tobacco and cognac enriched with rose, jasmine, and heliotrope. Again, Enigma is a fragrance that I love, so I can't wait to try that one out. Last up for this video, Scandal. As you can see there on the back. And there it is. That's a nice looking bottle. From some of the pictures of these bottles before I actually had them in hand, Scandal looked fairly similar to Elysium in color, but Scandal is this really rich, vibrant violet color, which you can see here. I think that as far as these bottles go, uh, they all look fantastic, but coloration wise, I think I like this one the most. And there is the bottom. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, they all look really nice, but I just really like the way this one pops. Now the differences 
of this one. In Scandal, I increased the existing trio of lemon, bergamot, and pettigrain in order to make the fragrance more cologne-like. It becomes fresher and more citrusy without changing the spirit of the fragrance. I kept the same ingredients as the original formula, just changed the proportions. And the olfactory description for this one before I give it a spray. Basil, spearmint, lavender, and tarragon add their pronounced aromatic freshness to a medley of bergamot, lemon, and pettigrain. Then given touches of sweetness from a mix of jasmine, violet, rose, and lily of the valley, warmed by cedarwood, sandalwood, cashmere wood, cardamom, nutmeg, and clove, held captive by vetiver, patchouli, and mosses, with an unusual note of rhubarb on a sensual base of ambergris, musk, leather-like labdanum, and tonka bean. So again, a lot going on here. Here we go. I really like that, but you're going to have to like Fougeres to like this one. I think it smells awesome. There is a bunch of spearmint in the opening here, at least off this tester strip, and it comes across like a, a real mint, like you grabbed a mint leaf, and you just rolled it between your fingers. It has that green tinge to it. And if you've ever taken a mint leaf and done that, you'll know what I'm talking about, where you roll it between your fingers and you get that mint oil that comes out, but then it kind of mixes up with that crushed leaf. That smells great. This one is not gonna be as much for the younger guys like Elysium, because again, this is more in line with like your classic Fougere style of fragrance. It's fresh, a little bit sweet. You've got your citrus in there, again, lemon, uh, pettigrain, very noticeable as well. And you've got kind of an herbal mix in there, uh, along with the mint, you've got basil, you have tarragon. I mean, I'm essentially just talking about the opening here, but it smells really nice. Let me work back through these really quickly. This is vetiver. It's not been on there too long, but it does come across uh, drier now, like a dry vetiver. A little bit of cedar, a little bit of oak moss, also smells great. I mean, that's that's really nice. I'm impressed by these. And now Danger, the last one. Warm, sweet, maybe a little bit leathery, but not too much coming off the tester strip. More like a, a very soft, warm, rich fragrance. The vanilla is starting to come out in this more, which is a note I love. This also smells just awesome. I'm impressed by these. This is good stuff. Yeah, I mean, these are really nice, guys. If you like what these are based off of, if you've smelled them already, then I can't imagine that you'll dislike these. I've got Scandal right here, so let me let me give this a spray. This is Scandal Pour Homme, one of the older bottles. Just doing kind of a Scandal Parfum Cologne, Scandal Pour Homme side by side here really quickly. Certainly the Parfum Cologne version of Scandal is fresher, that's obvious. But off these tester strips, Scandal Parfum Cologne smells nicer. It's got more effervescence, more brightness, more freshness, and it doesn't smell at all like it's lower in quality. Again, I haven't done a proper side-by-side, -side, but off the first impression, if you were going to come in here and say, I can only keep one of these, I would keep the Parfum Cologne, just based off of how they smell off these strips. Yeah, I mean, those little changes that were made, I think, improved it. Well, that's gonna do it for this first impression. Uh, let me know which of these three you'd rather see a review on first, Vetiver, Scandal, or Danger. And if I do get Enigma in, I'll do that one for you guys as well. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for me. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys.